the best basketball player on your team, and you gotta make sure your big dog gotta eat. So Shannon, what does this tell you about Kawhi? <laughs> you laughing? Yeah. You should be crying. No, I ain't crying about anything. Because what this tells me about Kawhi is what I always knew. Mm. Because here's the thing. People's like, oh, Kawhi is so quiet. He's not on social media. Kawhi is the biggest deep in the NBA. Mm. Let this have been LeBron James. Oh, uh, my God. Let this, no, no. I give you one better. Let that have been KD. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Let somebody say that KD rubbed them the wrong way. LeBron rubbed them the wrong way on the court. Mm. Practice schedule is set around him. When you leave, it's set around him. Let that be KD. Mm. Let that be. Lord forbid that be Braun. Because mm. anytime we made a big deal, oh, nobody want to play with LeBron. You see, Paul George didn't go. This one didn't go. That one didn't go. You see, Toronto, Toronto bowed out. Toronto said, nah. It was reported, Jeannie Buss says, we can't give you these things. This is against the cap. We get in trouble. Mm. But somebody would. <laughs> mm. What we know, what I knew to be true all along, that's a diva. And things need to work his way. If they don't work his way, because guess what? He had, all I know is that when three people speak out against something Kawhi did, they're no longer there. Trez, Lou Williams, got out of there. LeBron, uh, Rondo passed the ball. He airballed it. Rondo looked at him. Rondo's no longer there. Mm. So I'm not surprised by this. We understand the greater the player, the greater the ego, and you have to do some catering. But I don't think people thought it was to the, to the, the, the depth mm. of what we're starting to find out because behind the scenes, we heard this report come out last year that everything is around Kawhi. When they leave, when the buses leave, when the plane leaves, the practice schedule is set around him. And Lou Williams said, hey, it take him all day. I mean, he come early. Mm. He going to stay late. But... He got to do all that because they take him all day to just to do his you-know-what. Mm. So that's your guy. Mm. It is my guy. You ain't going to win. It's about to be Kawhi Town. Win! When he gets healthy. And win! he will be by March. And if he would have stayed healthy, as you said, they would have gotten to the Bet finals. your case he's going to play this year. A, a whole year? He don't play none. Okay, I'll this do year. one case right here, right now. Gotcha. Doesn't play any this year. None, okay, zero, zip, nada. I loved what Kyle Lowry said because I don't think Kyle Lowry or anybody else would have ever said this about LeBron James because LeBron's never been about get out of the way and give me the ball, right? What? Never. The man scored 28 straight points. Did you not see what Detroit happened to Detroit? Oh, he scored yeah. 28 straight. Yeah. Okay. Against a crumbling Pistons. Oh, team. not in crumbling. But he was like. 20 years old? They had just represented the Eastern Conference, Skip. They were in the Eastern Conference like five years. They had rested the Eastern Conference in the finals mm -hmm. all those years. Now they were crumbling. Mm -hmm. Really? With Ben Wallace, She, Tayshaun Friend, Rip, Chauncey. Really? McDice, That's the team. McDice got thrown out. Rasheed went berserk at halftime, and the coaches didn't want to play him in the second half. Remember that? Skip. And all of a sudden, LeBron James had a super highway to the basket against a team that had finally hit the aging wall. Oh! Yep. You, but you know what? It's funny that you say they hit the aging wall, yep. but the bad boy pistol, the original, they didn't hit the aging walls when they lost to you-know-who. Mm -hmm. You see how you do that, Skip? Let's not talk about the greatest player ever. Let's keep it right here on Kawhi Leonard, who... Uh, is what? Ironically, is the closest thing to Jordan we've had since Jordan. As a, as a jump shooter, as a mid-range jump shooter, he's even better than Kobe was at doing that. To me, Kobe was the closest thing to Jordan in all-around game. But as Doc Rivers said, that shot that Michael perfected sort of mid-career to late career, that 12, 15, 17-foot turnaround fadeaway jump Kobe. shot, it, it's Kawhi. I want Kobe. Ooh. Ooh, you take the other K, I got Kobe. Deadly was Kawhi Leonard, is Kawhi Leonard. So the point is that I, I take this as a compliment, and I don't know why he would start out by saying Kawhi rubbed people the wrong way. They won the championship. The, so, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Kyrie, hold on. Kyrie won the championship with LeBron. Yeah. But some of the things LeBron did rubbed him the wrong way. I don't know why that would rub Kawhi to, uh, Kyrie the wrong way when mm. they won the championship. Well, he thought they thought LeBron was all about stats. And, and he left after the next year when did they get swept or gentlemen swept the next year? No, they lost one. They lost, they, uh, they got, they lost in five.
five. Okay, right. they got gentlemen swept the next right. year, and Kyrie said, I can't take him anymore. Okay. I'm out. So hold on. If I'm a, if, if Kawhi's saying, give me the ball, I'm going to get this bucket, mm -hmm. and, 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 Kyle, and Kyle Lowry's saying, hold on, but but I'm open. We got other guys open. No, give me. So what is he worried about? Mm. What's who worried about? Kawhi. If he won't pass the ball, the guy's open because they can, they, they wide open, and he's talking about, I can get this bucket. Well, he has two rings with two finals MVPs. You so like what's that? four and four? Can you do better than that? What's four I don't and think four? So. What's four and four? Four and four what? Yeah, four rings, four finals MVPs with four MVPs. With six losses. <laughs> four, four, four. Yeah. How about two and zero? Four, four, four. Huh? Hold on. No, 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 he ain't mm -hmm. two and zero. You remember what we did to it? It's seven game seven. Should, should we hit that jump on it. You don't do that, Skip. You know what? It should be three and zero, <laughs> no, no, but no, I'm going to stick with two and zero. No, it's two and because one, Because yeah. Ray <laughs> Allen saved your legacy by you making the greatest clutch it. shot I've ever seen. So, ever. You, so you're not going to give him that loss that he actually has? I can't even... I can't compute that loss because it should not have been a it loss. It happened, though, Skip. Well, it happened because of Ray Allen. Okay. Okay, so let's look at what happened in 2019. If you look hard at this, that all of a sudden Kawhi takes off against, let's, they beat Orlando in five, but let's start Philly in seven. And, and again, I thought it was the luckiest shot that ever won a playoff right. game at the end, but I can't take away from the numbers for those seven games. 35, 10, and four? Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's like MVP numbers of that series. That's yeah, what he was, yeah. right? And then Milwaukee wins the first two games, and then Kawhi said, no, that's enough of this. And Toronto wins the next four games as Giannis just shrinks into the background, right. averaging only 21 points a game in those last four games. Mm -hmm. And Kawhi just, once again, goes crazy in that and goes 30, 10, and 4 in those yeah. six games. 30, 10, and 4. And then in the finals, I, I get it that there was no KD for most of it. He tried a little right. cameo. <laughs> right. And Clay got hurt at the end. But Kawhi goes 29, 10, and 4 in the finals. You want to talk about a run? You want to talk about dominating? Yeah, uh, Kyle Lowry. If, if if I'm Kyle Lowry playing point guard and he says, I, I want the ball, I'm going to give that guy the ball because you better let that big dog eat. How many times have you seen LeBron have, fi final, have finals, like have playoff runs like what you're talking about? Yeah, but they won. LeBron <laughs> yeah. often loses. Skip. How you gonna lose if we got more playoff wins than anybody in NBA history? How many times you think we lost? Plays the longest. You're four and six in the finals. Four and six? I mean, you, how can you make a goat case hold on, off but four I thought, and six? Hold on, but I thought, I thought the finals is the ultimate. I thought getting there meant something. Mm -hmm. So now you punish a guy for getting there. So it's better to lose in the first round. It's better to lose before you get to the finals as opposed to getting to it and lose, right? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, but it's pretty great when a guy has a master plan to quit his way out of San Antonio so he can get home to L.A., but he knows he's going to have to make a stopover in Toronto, change planes in Toronto. And while he's changing planes in Toronto, he just goes and wins the championship. Right. That's all. That's pretty great. That's how my guy, my guy was already etched in stone. Mm. He got won championships, won MVPs in two different locations. Yep. He said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it to say, I'm going to do like Jay Clampett. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move to Beverly Hills because mm -hmm. I'm gonna strike out because I struck all until in Cleveland, yep. and now I'm gonna go to Beverly Hills. Gonna load he, up, he load load up, up the, the truck, truck and move to and Beverly, move to Beverly. Yeah. Hills. That is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Skip Bayless? Swimming so, pools and movie stars. How many guys that you do you know mm. got three Finals MVPs with three different teams? Mm. Impressive, unless you got six finals losses. You got four wins You're and four disqualified. MVPs. They don't disqualify. So I love the Lou Williams quote because I saw it last night when I saw the story, the headline on it was completely misleading because it said Lou Williams roasts Kawhi Leonard's work ethic. And then I'm reading, I'm saying no. And then the blog says, to be clear, Lou Williams isn't bashing Kawhi here because no. he's not. No. He's saying Kawhi is there an he hour and a half won. before practice. He's there an hour and a half after practice, but that's just his speed yeah. because he need half a day to get his, you know what, together. Right. Okay. He's got some creaky knees. <laughs> He's got to get them warmed up. Yep. They are arthritic. <laughs> yeah. So they might be even more arthritic now that right. they tore another leg. And plus, guess what, Skip? And when you, if it takes you that long to warm up, you definitely got to do maintenance when you cool down, Skip. Okay. You got to get ice bath and all that other stuff. But I also think he stays after practice to work on that deadly shot. I am told by people close to him that nobody has any idea how hard he works because he does not post it. Somebody else I know is constantly trying to show us on on IG. Oh, Tom Brady? No, your guy. Oh, the guy who's okay. in Italy right okay. now. I'm sure he 
he had a whole gym whoa, flown whoa, whoa, over whoa, whoa, to Italy whoa, 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 with him whoa. on a private Well, you didn't say, hold on. I remember your guy was in Monaco on a camel. Mm. Your guy be posting videos on the beach with him running, him and his trainer. Yep. Your guy was up in, in Mont what, a big sky. Yep. And doing all that other stuff. But, but what, what's okay, the problem? Well, I never said Brady worked harder than LeBron. Uh, but I got to tell you, I think people are underestimating just how hard no, Kawhi works. No, no. Because nobody knows. Skip. He is the silent Assassin. There's no way you become that great without work ethic. Mm -hmm. We're not saying that. But what we what we are saying is that how you dismiss, let that had come out about LeBron mm -hmm. or Kevin Durant, then you'd be seeing it. No, you wouldn't. Let me take that back. Kevin Durant's your guy. So nothing he does would you will find fault with. Let that had been Goat James. What? Mm -hmm. Stop the presses. Mm -hmm. Well, I... I'm going to mention it again. Game two in the bubble against Denver comes down to the last shot, and it's called in the huddle for LeBron James. And Rondo says, I locked eyes with LeBron. He did not move. Right. And at the last second, desperate, Rondo has to kick it way out to the right far wing where AD has looped all the way around the set and catches the ball on the run over here and makes it from the three-point line to win the game. Let me ask you a question. Let's just say for the sake of argument, Tom Brady calls a play. Mm. 